Hey guys, it's me again, D the G, back with another video. I've got something a bit different for you today. I thought I'd um, do my top 10 worst YouTubers. And mate, what a fucking palaver. Seriously, there's so fucking many, mate. It's so hard to pick the worst 10. But, my cunt radar was on full alert, and I managed to pick the worst 10. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, at number 10... I've actually made a video on this guy before. He's a YouTuber. He, he calls himself a singer and a rapper. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Don't let they get you easily. People haven't been getting along recently. It's all but that's debatable. Coming in at number 10. The myth, the legend. Mr. D4NMY, otherwise known as Danny. This guy has got to be the worst singer and rapper I've ever heard in my life, and that is fucking saying something, guys, yeah? But, somehow, this cunt has got 10 million views on one of his videos. Okay, so the dislikes are nearly as much as the likes, but that does not change the fact 10,161,101 people clicked on this fucking video. Chicken! <laughs> Coming in at number 9 is a YouTuber called The God of Cringe and he really lives up to his name. If there's anyone out there who doesn't believe in karma, after this video you definitely will. Okay, so a quick introduction. This dickhead whose real name is Joel is trying to show us that you can get free drink from Starbucks by being an obnoxious cunt. Oh man, I didn't like this. Can I have a caramel frappuccino instead please? Can I have a caramel frappuccino instead, please? I didn't like this one. This almost empty drink? Is I that what you're talking about? Well, I just, I didn't like it, you know? Are you kidding? No. You're dead serious? Yeah, I'm serious. This drink right here, you didn't like? Oh, I was unhappy with it, I'm sorry. You didn't like the other 22 ounces of it? Mm -mm, no. So we need to make you a frappuccino? Mm-hmm, yep. That's cute, okay. Please. You need extra It's good customer service, that's what... That's what it is. Free drink. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. What? You could at least turn around and get it from me. Yeah, there Thank you go. Thank you. Have a great one. You too. Well, well, I must be psychic because I can tell what every single one of you guys are thinking. What an obnoxious, horrible little cringy cunt. But stay tuned. It's about to get good. Mm. Mm. That hurt. Mm. Shit. Number eight, we have the one and only, the beach whale of YouTube, the guy who takes advantage of children, it's the one and only Chubbs. Because Chubbs, Chubbs hasn't been a good chap. Chubbs, you've been a naughty boy, you've been a very naughty boy, you're on Santa's naughty list this year. Let me introduce you to the one and only Chubbs, the YouTuber who tried to steal $150 from a 12 year old. The story goes, this 12 year old YouTuber named Aiden Projects did some editing for Chubbs. Chubbs was supposed to pay him £30, he didn't get the money, and then he also stole $150 off the boy. Chubbs didn't pay him for the edit, and Chubbs also stole $150 from this kid. A YouTuber named iNabba, who you can see on the screen right now, he's a great YouTuber, check him out, um, actually did some digging, and he exposed this to the whole internet. He's 12. He's 12 years old. He said to me that Chubbs stole $150 from him. Chubbs stole $150 from a 12 year old. And as if this wasn't bad enough, when Aiden tried to tell his friends about it, this is the message he got from Chubbs. And just for reference, Aiden Projects used to be called Astro. The fuck is your problem, Astro? I haven't done shit to you. 
I've been trying to get back on shit. I'm sorry I've been shit at replying, but I don't appreciate you going around and being a dick. And if those treats are about me, we're done. So we can all agree that you're a disgusting human being. So we're going to move on. But before we do, would you just describe yourself in one word for me, please, Chubbs? Cunt. Cheers, mate. Coming in at number seven is a fake prank channel. A guy and his girlfriend where they pretend to prank each other. And she just... Let's just say she's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. Meet Brad Holmes and his bird Jen. The creators of such pranks as Engagement Ring Meets the Toilet, I Thought My Girlfriend Needed a Haircut, and Dirty Revenge. Basically, the channel revolves around good old Bradley pranking Jen, and as she's not the smartest, she falls for every one of them. Well, I say falls for it. It's probably fucking fake. But, um, yeah, and they'll ask her questions and riddles and just laugh at her because obviously she can't get them. Oh, and did I forget to mention he uses her body for views? You're off your head! Well, I've got a question for you. So, what are you wanting, man? Right. Okay, Jen, I've got a question for you, love. Don't yawn! We need to make the next viral video. It needs to look real. Don't yawn! I don't care, this has to be believable. The well, question is you're stood on top of a building, yeah? And you're overlooking like all the streets and that's so imagine you're like in New York sort of a building, high building. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? And to your right you have a ton of feathers, yeah? Okay. To your left you have a ton of bricks. They both get pushed off the building at exactly the same time, down to the millisecond, so exactly the same time, yeah? Okay. Which one will hit the ground first? Now remember Jen, it looks stupid as you can. We need that ad revenue. Now look like an idiot. Come on. The ton of bricks. <laughs> Now, I don't know for 100% fact that these videos are fake, but if they're not, he is one bastard. Hey, Jen. Jen, look. Where's the shower bag? Yeah, look, cassette, look at this, it's interesting. What? Yeah. Why have you got my ring for? Why have you, why have you just done that? Are you fucking idiot? I better stop being like, why would you just do that? I'll pay for it. I don't give a shit if you pay for it, that's mine. You pay for it for me. My engagement ring doesn't give you the right to flush it down the fucking toilet, does it? It's to teach you a lesson. For what? Leaving it on the side. <laughs> so guys, remember, never leave anything on the side or people have the right to flush it down the bog. There's so much more to tell you about these guys, but as this is a top 10 video, I haven't got time to do any more on this. If you want me to make a video on these guys, leave a comment saying so and a like and I'll make a whole video on them. <laughs> Number six, we have something no better than child abuse. Meet Daddy of Five, family vlogging channel, pranksters, and child abusers. And you know you don't hit girls. Yeah, but, but she's your sister, she don't count. Yes, you heard that right. He's getting the kids to play a game where they slap each other. And he's getting the young boy to slap the little sister. What the heck? Boys don't hit girls. Fucking hypocrite. The boy even says... She can slap me instead, but he really, really ain't having it. She, she can slap me. Wait, she's a girl. You smack her. Be easy. Go ahead. I'm not getting right. Why do I have to do the older one? All right, well, come on, then. Just give her a little tap. Oh, my God. Just look at her dad's reaction. You can see him counting the ad revenue and counting the views in his head. The dirty fucking piece of scum. And that's not even the worst they've done. The young one, who you can see on the screen right now, he, named Cody, is the one who gets it the most. They put invisible ink all over his carpet, called him up, and, well, watch for yourself. Hey guys! <laughs> so, I got a prank for Cody. I bought this here, invisible ink. And I'm going to squirt it all over his carpet and start flipping out. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Do 
Just look at the fat pig getting enjoyment out of terrorising her own children. Look at her fat ugly fucking face. Look at that fucking dirty grin. Horrible cunt. Horrible. <laughs> What the hell is, is that? What is this? Cody! Tell me! I didn't do that! You tell me what you did! I swear to God I didn't do that! Cody! I didn't call her by your carpet! I didn't do that! I don't have anything to call her when you Why did you, you do you that? Had. You ruined the carpet! Get out of here! Mind I your business! I didn't do that! Mom and Dad, I didn't oh do that! Oh my God! We you obviously did! We You've done this before! before. You did this! It's actually quite hard to watch, but for the next three minutes they just berate him for messing up the room, threaten to sell his Pokemon cards, and just basically just distress the poor boy and make him cry. Look at the joy on her fat fucking face from making her own son cry like that. Disgusting! And this is why, deservedly so, she deserves place number six in the worst YouTubers of all time. Okay, so we're gonna have to leave it there for today. I realise still we have to do 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. That will be in the next part. So thank you, especially if you got this far. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're new. Like the video if you liked it. And comment who you think should be in the top 5. Peace!